local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. All right, let's start you out this afternoon with a live look over the Roanoke Valley from our poor mountain sky cam. Fair weather cumulus clouds rising in the heat and humidity of the day. And and check this out. The heat index, it feels like temperatures around 95 to 100 degrees for a lot of us feeling like 99 in Lexington and Lynchburg feeling like 93 in Blacksburg. That's when you know it's hot and with that heat and humidity, we're getting a few downpours, one of which on 43 in Botetourt County that moving closer to James River and just going to try an inch closer to areas like Glasgow and Natural Bridge. We'll take you farther to the south and west around Bland County High, so right along I-77, just a little downpour. Those really the only two games in town right now as we broaden out the view and show you a cold front a cold front. We'll put that in quotations because it's not going to cool things down, but it is going to lift that hot and humid air. Give us the chance for some hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. So this is 1 p.m. and you notice that's still just a couple stray showers and storms. But as we approach 3 p.m., that's when storms may start to increase in coverage a little bit and get closer to US 460 from Roanoke to Bedford to Lynchburg. That's a possibility as we approach those time frames. Then after about 4 p.m., that's when storms start to strengthen a little bit and head south of US 460, perhaps into parts of south side. Now, as we head deeper in the evening, 8, 9, 10 p.m., most any storms are going to be in North Carolina, but we're going to be left very muggy behind that. So today's not a complete waste, but it is going to be a little stormy at times for a few of us. Temperatures around 4 p.m. for a lot of us around 90 degrees. The humidity making it feel hotter, though, if you plan on grilling out. So keep that in mind. Storms moving south as we progress throughout the evening and hopefully leaving us with a clear sky. Now keep in mind, this picture here from Brandon, while a really nice picture, is taken with one of those long exposure cameras, so it makes things a little brighter for the Comet Neowise. It will be a little dim in the night sky from about 10 to midnight tonight, so make sure you use binoculars and try to avoid city lights if you're going to be looking out for that. Now let's look at the weekend forecast. More of the same heat. The New River Valley mid to upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. The rest of us in the low to middle 90s. And then you check out Sunday, even a little hotter than that. Temperatures of around 90 to 95 for most of the area. And I don't see that stopping anytime soon as high pressures camped out over the eastern U.S. That means the air sinks, it compresses, it heats up through the early part of next week. But as high pressure breaks down a little bit toward the middle part of next week, we'll actually start to see storm chances returning a little bit more. Most of the weekend actually looking fairly dry for us, with the exception of, again, your typical spotty showers and storms. So by Sunday, we're near 90 in the NRV. We're in the upper 80s and lower 90s early next week. And then as we head to the middle part of next week, you see I've taken storm chances up just a little bit high temperatures in the 80s and do want to let you know that there's not much relief in the heat at night because of the humidity temperatures only dropping into the upper 60s and lower 70s as you see there in the extended forecast for the Roanoke Valley. Minimal storm chances on Sunday and Monday and that is when temperatures reach the middle 90s in the Roanoke Valley.